Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but welcome to another episode of the Lair Challenge. Um, and if you've not watched any of my previous Lair Challenge videos, uh, basically what I do in these is take a lure that I've never used before and go test it, um, see if you can catch some fish on it and then do like a review on it at the end of the video. So without further ado, uh, today's lure is the Fox Rage Pro Shad 2. Now I've been wanting to review these since they we were released, which was quite recently, maybe about six months ago, and they've been quite hard to get hold of, but I finally found somewhere what sells them. So yeah, bought some and uh, we'll give them a go. Um, 28 centimeter and 14 centimetre I've managed to get. They also do 18 and 23. Um, it's quite weird actually, there was one shop that sold 28s and 14s and another shop that sold 18s and 23s. But yeah, end up good for these two, biggest and smallest. Um, so we'll see how they are. Um, I've rigged these up already because I'll save a bit of time today. But basically they just come as the plain shad and then you rig them up yourself. Um, I've gone for pike pattern, 28 centimetre, and this like silver bait fish pattern, 28 centimetre. That's got five gram corkscrew head, and this is shallow rigged. And then for the 14 centimetre ones, I've got pike, rainbow trout, and silver fish. So yeah, rig these small, small ones up as well. We'll get out on the water. Um, about two hours a two or three hours a day left, I think. So, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. But hopefully, we we'll get some fish, and yeah, hopefully, we can do a good review. So, catch you guys in a bit. That's a good fish. That's a good pike. <laughs> yes, there's a pike. Come on out. Off the drag a bit. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. 
Oh, he's running. <laughs> yes. Smash that right under my feet. Oh, that's a good bike. Oh, oh that is a good bike. I think this is one I've never caught before as well. To see how often I fish this can out. Look at the colour of that. Nice. There we go. That's a nice pike. Anyway, well. That was the first one on the uh, pro shed. Took that right at my feet. <laughs> Just slammed it head first. That were awesome, that. Not much damage to it, actually. But, like, this much was in its mouth and then the rest was untouched. But there's, there's only a few little cuts on that, so... Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Got a nice pack as well for, uh, for this spot. But I am using a massive bait. And... Yeah, I think I just caught that in time because it looks like it's absolutely going to hammer it down. So, yeah, I'll keep fishing anyway, see if we can get some more. But, yeah, that was sick, that. <laughs> Proper dark for this canal. You don't normally get them that dark in here, but I'm happy. Normally just catch uh, two pounders, but... <laughs> Makes a nice change. It's my first pike, got my new rod actually, that as well. <laughs> nice one to christen it with, a nice mid double. Check out the colour of that sky though, eh? <laughs> it's definitely going to rain really bad soon. Well, actually, the way I'm heading, massive dark clouds and where I've just come from. Bright sunshine, so... Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. this way Nothing wants to eat bream today. <laughs> I've seen loads of uh, loads of bream topping and rolling on the surface, so I thought I'd uh, try a big silver shallow rigged and uh, not having too much, not having too much luck with it. But I think I'll leave it on for a bit. Heading back to the car now. I've only got 
maybe like 30 or 40 minutes of battery life left so yeah maybe i'll catch another fish maybe i won't but i might actually fish again tomorrow but on a different spot because it's been <coughs> pretty crappy weather today and um yeah i really want to fish somewhere a bit clearer because i've not got <laughs> any dirty water lures and it's it is pretty coloured for what it's for what it usually is anyway yeah. so yeah either i'll catch another fish here or i'll go to another spot tomorrow we'll see just carry on fishing and see what happens Alright guys, so it's a few days later now, um, I did end up going to the res to try and catch some more pike on them, uh, but I forgot my camera and I lost the pike pattern shad, so didn't go perfectly well and I didn't catch any pike either, <laughs> but yeah, I'm back now, finished the review off, not got the uh, big pike because obviously it's lost, but got these two to show you still and I filmed a bit of footage before so that's alright. Um, but yeah, worked out pretty well with these, um, overall quite happy with them, a um, few little uh, issues that I'll, I'll go over in the review anyway, but yeah we'll get started um, and just go over the usual points I mentioned uh, with these. So first point is price, how much do the lures cost? Um, these are actually really cheap, they're probably one of the cheapest shads on the market at this size. Um, these 28 centimetre ones are £4.50. Um, the smallest ones are £2.50 and the 18s and the 23s are somewhere in between. Um, so really cheap, like most shads of this size are almost £10 each and this is half the price. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, obviously it uses a lot less material, being thinner. Uh, they don't package these, they just come loose like this. They don't come in any, any wrappers or anything, so that saves money. Um, but yeah, super cheap. Um, do the job. So the price has got to be a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and yeah, cheap. Cheapest shed you can get. So it's kind of like a disposable shed if you want go out catch a few fish and then if you lose them it, it doesn't really matter because it's not expensive so yeah 9.5 out of 10 for price um, confidence level in these lures how confident am I that I'll catch a fish um, well I caught a pike so I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 um, they definitely do catch pike <laughs> and it was a decent pike as well so I'm happy with that um, so yeah 10 out of 10 for confidence level uh, fun factor, how enjoyable is it to use these lures? Um, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for that. Um, so basically it's just, just your bog standard chad. Cast it and retrieve it. They're all the same to fish. Um, you get the enjoyment out of the strikes with the chad, seeing that rod tip bang over when you get a fish take and uh, you know watching it swim towards you like a nice fish. But yeah, um, fun factor, 7 out of 10. You know, it's just just shad fishing, swim bait fishing, it's all the same really, so yeah. Um, build quality. Um, they do have a few issues with these, like different issues with different ones, like um, the small rainbow trout pattern one. It had a small eye like this, and then it had a big eye like this one on the other side, so it had two, two odd eyes. Um, the tail on this isn't connected properly, like, it's like half hanging off at this side um, and then there's like a few like lumps on them and stuff like that but they're not too bad really I mean soft plastics they do get issues like that with them um, but uh, apart from that build quality is uh, decent you know <laughs> um, not had any issues with it um, major issues anyway you know 
not swimming properly or anything like that. They've all, they've all swam fine. Uh, so build quality, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, so yeah, decent enough. And the cheap price, so you can't expect exact perfect layers every single time. Uh, final point is versatility. Um, which is basically, can you fish it in different situations, you know, slow, fast, deep, shallow, and with it being a shad, you know, you rig it yourself. This one's shallow rigged, so it fishes um, maybe one or two foot under the surface to right on the surface, fish it slow. So as I was saying before my camera ran out of memory, um, shallow rigged fishes, um, you know, from surface to about two foot down, slow or fast, then you can go up in, Cocktail head sizes, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That'll take you down to any depth that you want and you can fish it at any speed that you want. Same with the small ones, you know, different size jig heads and etc. So, yeah, versatility. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Um, only issue with these large ones is you can't really fish them weedless, but it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, 8 out of 10 for versatility. A uh, couple of small issues with them that I'll mention now. Um, casting. Um, with them being so flexible and thin, a lot of the time if they land tail first or even head first, they can fold up and then that, that front treble can wrap around like the eye or the leader and they end up like this. And you've got to reel, reel them in and you know, it's a bit annoying when it's been a long cast and it's, it's, it's landed like that. Um, so that can be an issue. Um, and that happens, well, it happened maybe five or six times with me in a two hour session. So not too much, but when it does happen, it's annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, I think that's the only major issue actually, just that. So. Overall score I've given this is 8.3 out of 10. So would I recommend it? Yeah, it's a cheap shad. Comes in four sizes. You can rig it exactly how you want to rig it. And yeah, decent, I'm happy with them. Um, I'll probably be buying some more myself. I want to buy another pipe pattern one and some of the 23 centimeter ones as well. So yeah, good shad, recommended. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this video, so hope you've enjoyed, and um, catch you guys in the next video. Cheers!